Hey guys, it's me Maya. Today I'm going to show you a little trick that I figured out. This will allow you to uh, insert footnotes into your Rome so that when you hover over a small number, you will be able to see the reference block. This is very, it's a very simple CSS code that I inserted into, into my Rome CSS page. I'll explain everything in the video. So let's get started. So the first thing you have to do is actually go and get the code. So you're going to go over here. Um, the page is still loading, okay. And this is a database with some ROM tricks, but the link I'm going to put in the description box below is actually going to bring you directly to this uh, page. Of course, you can just explore more if you want. So you're going to scroll down, and then here you're going to take the code. You can just copy this block like this, and then you're going to paste it into your ROM CSS page. So there. And then um, I'm going to put at the same level as my other theme so that I can have two themes at the same time. So just paste it there. And here it says that you need stylus, but you don't. I've tried it multiple times without stylus and it works perfectly. Okay, there. Now um, I'm just going to say, I'm going to give an example of how I use it. So let's say I'm journaling. So. Okay, there. So let's see, I wrote this and now, um, I made a mistake here, okay. And now, um, when when I'm reading this and I say, oh, I, it was really fun and I think it really matched with the game we played yesterday. Now, if I go here, I can see that we played witches with my little brother and my little sister. So then I'm going to actually insert a footnote here. So to do that, you're going to go on hashtag ref and it has to be ref. If not, this whole thing won't work. So you do hashtag ref. I'm going to show you later in the video how you can change it from ref to something else. So after the hashtag, you're just going to uh, insert a block reference. So I'm going to write play witches with um, Sophia and Courtney there. So now you can see that there's a little one that appeared. And when I go on it, when I hover over it, you can see that the block referenced appeared over here. And there's a red pin also. Now, um, if you don't want it to be ref, the hashtag, you're just going to um, have to modify the code. So to do that, you're just going to open your Rome CSS page here and then switch every time you see ref you're just going to switch it to whatever you want i'm going to use x for this for now so x x okay and of course you can also switch the emoji so i'm going to actually i'm going to put this one there okay now, um, I'm just going to go over here, and you can see that um, it here, because I put ref, it's not working. But now, if I switch it to X, like this, you can see that it worked. And now, I have the little uh, emoji that appears in front of my block reference. Now, I really use this for um, when I'm just writing something, most, most of the time when I'm journaling, and then I'm actually thinking about something in the process, and I just add a little footnote with um, what I'm thinking about. Now, most of the time what I'm thinking about is actually a blog because I'm thinking about the block. So I just reference the block. It's very easy. If not, if you don't have a block, you can actually just, if you want, you can create a page with all of these things where you can write what you're thinking about and then you can reference them from there. So that's it for my video today, guys. I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe. See you soon.